Hello everyone, this is Methonian. And Casey's Craig. And we are at, back with our next ladder game. Yes, this is ladder game number 14. Yep. Our opponents this time are... Pulling up the settings. Robert E. Lee and Be Cool. In parentheses, The Widowmaker. They are currently ranked 12th with a rating of 1728. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Let's take a look at their profiles. Robert E. Lee first. With the fantastic Confederate flag. Yeah, battle flag. Yeah, and then the, yeah. the part of Clan Yugoslavia. Even he's though from. His flag wait, is what? Greece. But wait, what? The flag he... doesn't really mean much, actually. Wait, what? Okay, so maybe he's not from Greece. Well, that, but he's he's probably living overseas or something. But maybe in Europe, it uses where the IP is from. So his IP is from Greece. But it doesn't necessarily mean he's in Greece. He's probably within a, you know. That's just strange, though. You, you area. Though. I don't imagine many Greeks with Confederate battle flags. What? <laughs> yeah. It's like, what? Mm. No one. Okay. He joined Warlight in 2012. I'm just like, there's a disconnect here that that is not making sense to me. <laughs> His best rank in the 1v1 is 35th. Him and B. Cool have gone up to 10th place on the 2v2 ladder. Mm -hmm. He's participated in some seasonals. He's played a total of 7,638 7, ranked games. Has won 4,534 of them. Majority of those being 1v1s at 64% win rate. And then a 58% 2v2 win rate. And 56% 3v3 win rate. Mm -hmm. Yep. So he plays a lot of games. His favorite map is Imperial Romanum. Well okay. done. Okay, his teammate. And his previous name was Rob, Rob Wirt. <laughs> Ely. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to his, uh, his teammate Be Cool's profile. Yes, let's do the that. He plays from Macedonia. Ooh. Yep. Well, his IP is from Macedonia. Yeah, what? Yeah. He also joined Warline in 2012. Over 10,000 games. April 1st, 2012. Yep, 10, April 1st, that's my birthday. Holy crap. <laughs> Has played just over 10,000 games with 6,700 wins. Dude, look at all these. Over 8,500 1v1s. That is and ridiculous. With a 71% Win rate, so but he's never good. played in the 1v1 Only a 44% 2v2, though, and a 47% 3v3, That's so he seems to do pretty good as a, alone, but maybe as a team. Maybe he just sort of derps around on teams. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, you know, they are 12th in the 2v2 ladder, so it's that's, that's decent. Yeah. Pretty good. Not that's a bad team. To scoff at. So, anyway, we have the board. Le board. We have wastelands in Caribbean islands, Colombia, Southern Arabian states, mm -hmm. Noryabersk, and Northern Territory. Yep. <sighs> what immediately comes to mind here is Southern Africa is very, very powerful on this board from what I can see. Like Tanzania and South Africa, I'm thinking. Yep, yep. We it's very rare that. to see Southern Africa as a potential combo. So, but it's I think the last time we saw it, we comboed it as well, and it worked out decently in the long run. Yeah, but it, it that's yeah, but that's sort of a, a side issue. And what I'm saying though, I mean, it's it it's just very nice in terms of getting to Southern SA. It still is. It's very effective at keeping someone from getting the one turn bonus in Central Africa. Even if someone beats you out for the one pick in Tanzania, I still like it as a delayed counter. Mm. Going to Southern Deserts and then uh, Zambia, Zimbabwe, or no, 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 no. You could just why why do that? Just go to Zambia, Zimbabwe when you want to. Just like uh, finish your bonus at the same time that you go to Zambia, Zimbabwe. And the other guy will be working on East Africa by then, and he's screwed. <laughs> he's eight income to seven, and he's got to defend and take East and finish East Africa. He's just he's not in a good spot. Yep. Okay. Uh. Yeah. 
Uh, other potential four bonuses are Brazil, West US, Greenland can be comboed. Uh, West Russia, if you want to start in a wasteland or bonus, you can combo that. <laughs> Siberia can be comboed. West China can be comboed. Huh. That's it. The other two are wastelanded, so. Let's see. Two bonuses. Yakutia can be comboed. Central Africa, as I mentioned, can be comboed. Central Asia, Eurasia can be comboed. South Pacific can be comboed. Central Africa can be comboed. Yeah. Both Eastern of the Europe. US ones can be. Yeah, and Eastern Europe can it, be comboed. Every two bonus on the board. Even Alaska. Can Alaska can be comboed. Every single two bonus. That's rare to see. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. That's so funny. So looking through these games, these players' previous history, or previous ladder games, they, uh, they frequently combo. Yeah. If they're not comboing a four bonus, they're probably comboing a two bonus. Yep. Sometimes they'll just sometimes they'll just choose territories and you know for decent expansion, but for the most part, like eight out of ten times they combo. Yeah, they have a thing for uh, for Australia, either starting with just Australia or a combo in Australia, and they also like to start with Brazil, combo Brazil. And they also like to start with Eastern Europe, either Yakutia or Siberia, yep. and sometimes Central Africa. And those are the biggest things they'll go for, the biggest combos we've, as we've seen them. They will split up picks and pick in different places, you know, sometimes. Yeah, they do not but, overlap. I haven't seen them overlap a single time. Yeah. Uh, but, they, but my point is they will go for picks that are not combos sometimes they do do that but you I've, every single game I believe that they've done they do have at least one combo you at least it. one sometimes two oftentimes two and usually it'll be a four bonus and a two bonus by different players of course so what I'm thinking is they're probably going to combo Brazil and that's another reason South Africa is so great I mean, look at this. Falkland Islands, you take south, south, uh, Southern Africa, go to Falkland Islands, bust into Southern SA as he's finishing Southern SA. Yep. And then all of a sudden, he's boned. I mean, he is, he is just screwed over there. Poor guy. Brazil combo dude, your life sucks. Anyway. Yep. It does. <laughs> <laughs> really bad. Um, I think that'll happen. It's very likely they could combo either Eastern Europe or Yakutia or even Siberia. I think all three of those are very likely to occur. Or, heck, well, Central Africa is less likely because of Brazil. Mm, yeah, yeah, true, true. But somewhere in either Eastern Europe, Siberia, or Yakutia, I would guess, is their other spot. If they start with a com two combos. If they don't start with two combos, all bets are off. They could start in different places on different continents. They could start with some place yeah. in North America, some place in Asia. I wouldn't be surprised. But probably not Southern or South Africa. Yeah. At I'd, least, you know. South Africa. For our sake, I hope not. <laughs> eh. That would be an interesting thing to hmm. split. So I'm thinking that our middle picks should be something that prepares us for their most likely other picks so Italian Peninsula looks pretty good to me mm -hmm. uh, and the other you mean like in around Yakusha and Siberia something like East China could work quite well for that that's exactly. Mangu get a nice double border if they combo it with the Russian forest that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, and if they're not there, then we go to Mongolia to get a double border on Siberia. I mean, Southeast China, to me, just looks tailor-made to counter Yakusha. I mean, it is absolutely perfect for that. Mm -hmm. The, I mean, just look at this. You finish East China, and you go to Naimingu at your leisure to threaten Yakusha, Russian Far East. Or, heck, you could go there and then go to Mongolia 
thread in Siberia. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just a beautiful spot for that. Um, what's some other stuff? Hmm. Southeast Asia, South Pacific. That's possible, but I don't see much of a benefit to comboing that. To be honest, it doesn't. Yeah, really seem I mean, that great. considering Australia is wastelanded, that whole area has lost a lot of value. I agree. And considering Caribbean's wastelanded as well, as well as Northern South America, <laughs> it takes the Azores down a peg as well. I think. Yeah, the the blockade or sorry, the wasteland in Caribbean's a big deal. It does reduce the Azores value a lot as a strategic point on the map. But it is still pretty good. Um although I think we don't we're not our picks so far anyway, our first four, we're not really worried about the Azores. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah. I don't think we, it's something to worry about. I agree. Something maybe middle of the picks or late, later picks. So uh, I do think that Tanzania seems to be what we need to have our one as, and then. Oh yeah, I already seems, had that. Okay, well, they, Just because we want to make sure they don't get Central times, Africa. Yeah, we've seen them several times choose stuff in Europe, so I think that should be two mm -hmm. Italian Peninsula with three in Southeast China. Yep, and that's then exactly what I was thinking. South Africa. Awesome. East China. I mean, they they won't pick East China. It's. I don't think I saw it, them pick it within the first four picks a single time. Out of those games. Yeah, I don't think so either. They just they to sort of tend to ignore, like West China. In fact, Central Eurasia. I don't think they've picked at all. For whatever reason, Central Eurasia, West China, East China, South Asia. This area they sort of just ignore in terms of picking there they just are like well i mean those are those are places there but we won't pick it yep <laughs> west russia they also have never picked that i've seen yeah. so out of all of these four picks the one that we're most likely to lose is probably italian peninsula i agree so if that happens then we end up with one person getting three four the other person gets one and where do we want him to go a possibility could be like East Canada. I would say, yeah. You know, slow counter to Eastern Europe um, because we would have knowledge of it in this case. So we would have one, uh, five, three, four. Mm hmm. So yeah, I, I like East Canada in this case. That would be a little awkward, but. It, yeah, it would be. I mean, whoever gets uh, South Africa would finish East China and then probably go to Falkland Islands the same turn. So it would just be a little bit harder to counter. Well, because you would have eight income instead of nine. But that would be the only difference, really. I still see it working out, though, because he would have an edge. And his teammate would still be able to help him out. Uh, either through a gift or through going through St. Helena, if necessary. Yeah. Although, you know, a 1-5, you would most likely be focused on the guy in Western Europe. That's true. Yeah. So there are other things to worry about. You're right. Yeah. I mean, it's like once we get into South Dakota, sir, nah. we've already done damage. So it might be better at that point to have the other guy gift something up there. You know, maybe oh. blockade in South Dakota, sir. Finish Southern Africa. And then destroy the guy in Western Europe. But anyways, that's a very big hypothetical where do we want our six? Ah, <laughs> uh, when it comes down to six, hmm, maybe something like I could see New Guinea being a six. It is relatively safe, and if we do, Southeast Asia. Hmm. I mean, that already did, as we said earlier, lose some value because of Australia. Yeah, I agree, but at the same time. Oh, to get to our six, that means we lose uh, at We've least lost two, two yeah. at least two of our first five. So what would we be likely to lose? Uh, none of them, but <laughs> I guess we could have lost like East Africa or something. Well, if we lost East Africa, we definitely get Italy. 
and Southeast True. China. So yeah, that then would be, we'd be losing we like one four, and we'd be losing East Canada most likely in that scenario. I think so. We'd end up with some weird hodgepodge of <laughs> we get Southern Africa, East China, West China. I'm oh, sorry, Western Europe and Southeast Asia. Yeah, that'd be really strange. It would be two. It would be Italy. The guy in Italy has Southeast Asia. The guy in East China has South South Africa. So, yes. Ooh, I mean, I guess that doesn't seem half bad, but it's just a bit weird. I mean, that would be a very strange situation. I don't think that'll happen. Yeah, that's definitely strange. Uh, I think that Yakusha might be a good seven pick at that point. If 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 it gets to that, hmm. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> and I I just put eight as Nigeria because I don't care anymore. A one eight if we somehow get to a one eight situation, Nigeria is a good 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 spot for that. Sure. Hey, I mean, what if we lose There's... Southern Africa? Then. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Which... If if they decide to combo South Africa, <laughs> and and somehow choose some of the other territories we have as well, <laughs> all of them. If if we perfectly overlap with them somehow, because for some reason they've decided to try out overlapping picks now, <laughs> then props to them. I don't even know anymore. I'm just oh, going to commit. Man. Um. I like this. I like a burr. That's a decent uh, seven pick because you do want quick income at that point with number seven. Um, <clears throat> Southeast Asia. You know, honestly, at that point, I'm feeling like six might as well be Paraguay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I think that might be a little better. Yeah. I like Paraguay better. In fact, I mean, well, no, I like. I still like New Brunswick as better five. As a better five. Blah blah blah. Okay. Well, I switched it up with uh, Paraguay, and then I committed again. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and commit, and our picks have been distributed, and indeed, okay. we see them. Hello there. This is weird. I'm fighting my oh, own color. Yeah. yeah, it's a little bit strange to see you as purple now. Uh, Who are you, they mysterious are in Eastern man? Europe. And presumably Be Cool is in Brazil. Presumably, yes. Presumably. So, we will basically just demolish them. This is the goal. Yep. Okay, so... Hmm... What to do here? Uh, well, I guess I will just stack up stuff for now. Take a territory, I guess. Yeah. You do that. <laughs> I'm going to uh, work on Southern. Oh, fuck. I got to get Na Madagascar as well. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> of course, it's not going to be that easy. I was like, this is going to be a very unusually easy four bonus. That's because I forgot there was another territory over there. <laughs> hey, there's this island off to the side. Don't forget about Madagascar. <laughs> it's a real place. Yep. Um, oh, okay, well, my moves are pretty simple. I just, I'm just taking territories. Uh, for you, how much income are you thinking of putting in uh, Western Europe? All but one. Four. Yeah, that's just a guarantee. Safe. Yeah, guarantee a take of one. That's I mean a take a one taking one bonus one territory. Gosh, I can't you can do talk. it. You can do it. <laughs> it's hard, man. Using words. Yep. Uh, you should commit so I can take a look at your moves. All right. I'm sure that they are fascinating to look at. They are. You should admire oh, their God. beauty. He's going to have three territories at the end of the turn. Oh my god. OMG, Y2K6, woes. Okay, so yeah. Uh, 
We assume it'd be cool as in Brazil. Robert E. Lee failed to get his combo of Eastern Europe, so we... His, his other territory is somewhere. I have no idea where it would be, though. Yeah, all bets are off on this guy. I mean, it, he's got another pick somewhere out there in this big, wide world. I know that if... Well, no, actually, since he comboed it, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Could well, even well, be Scandinavia. That would be hilarious. That would, uh, that would be unfortunate for him. Yeah, that would suck. That would be great for me, though. I'd be happy with that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah as soon as I get to South Carolina, sir, you just gift me something up there. Mm -hmm. You know, I blockade down there. We destroy that stuff. Okay. That works out pretty well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to see if that happens when turn advances. Indeed. And turn has advanced. Indeed. Let us watch it. Watching. <laughs> he deployed all five into East Central Europe. We'll see if he tries attacking. Yeah. Oh, and I got two losses in East Central China. That's Minimum actually, losses for me in Mozambique. That's really not good for this situation here. I got minimum losses here. In I got got, minimum losses wow. Ha, ha, ha. Well, that's nice, I guess. Yeah. Okay, he did not attack you. Okay, so he probably he hit with a three somewhere else, obviously. We don't know... Well, dang. Any more than that, unfortunately. <laughs> you are, like, just short of having enough guys to make a hit on Falkland Islands this turn. Eh, it's fine. I don't oh, think. Oh, well. Well, I mean, a difference. Uh, that's, there's nothing we can do about it. That This is the best possible scenario, so. <laughs> dang. Oh, well. Uh, so he obviously hit with three in his other bonus last turn. Yeah. So. We don't know if it's a two or a three bonus yet. If he ends up deploying none in uh, East Central Europe, we should assume that he had a two bonus and finished it. Mm hmm. Makes sense. If if he has a three bonus, then he's not going to do that. Yeah. So we would see income from him. Yeah. So, yeah. Either way, I am going to hit with three in South China because I don't want him to be able to place. I have 13 and hit my 10 hit 10 with it. I'd rather hit let him hit 11. So at least the yeah. losses will be a little more equal. Let's see. If defender has 11 then yeah, he can't take me obviously, but I will kill or probably 8 most likely. And he will kill with uh with 13. He should kill 8 as well. Okay, yeah, equal losses. He shouldn't kill nine, I don't think. Let me make sure. Yeah, he, there's like a 4% chance he'll kill nine. So, not likely to occur. Mm-hmm, yep. Anyway, so my <laughs> moves are simple. I'm just going to sit, and you're going to take everything, and then I guess get ready to take Falkland next turn? Uh, yeah. Awesome. That's what I'm planning on. So I'll commit. All right, committing. Okay, turns advanced. Ready to watch? Watching. All right. All five in East Central Europe is gonna hit me. Probably. If he just sits, then he's dumb. And you oh. failed your attack. Really? I failed the three. Well, I guess he's not hitting me. What's he thinking? Hmm. I had maximum losses on my two attacks that turn, unfortunately. Okay, well, uh, you have enough to get a card piece over there, so just put all five there and, and defend. It's Man. his loss, I guess. Well, it would have been his loss if I, if I would have taken a territory, but... Come on, game. Don't screw with me here. 20% chance. Mm. Come on. So I can either hit Falkland Islands with 11, or I can hit it with 6 and also hit Northern Horn or 7. It would hit Northern Horn as well. Southern um, Horn. Yeah, whatever. Okay. That. I was like, well, Northern Horn's like the Ethiopia area. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I need to hit it with that much. He's if he's just going for the expansion in Southern South America, he's not gonna hit it with enough to defend me. I'll be hitting it with like fifteen. Well, no, twelve. Mm-hmm. So right now, he should be going to North Kono Sur. This turn. Yes, you're right, yeah. Okay. Assuming he actually turn. comboed. Yeah. And if he didn't, well, you just expand. 
Not a big yeah. deal. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, if he deploys everything to hit you with 18, that's still like equal losses, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's in my favor slightly. 16. You'll have 16. I will kill 11. And 19. No, 18. That's equal losses. Okay. Oh, well, it'd be 18, actually. Yeah, he... He might, he, will, he might only kill 10. He'll kill between 10 and 11. And you'll kill 11. 18 and has a 75% chance to kill 11. Yeah. And there's... There, yeah. It's, it, yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Good commentary, as always. Yeah, okay, 6 well... 6% chance I'm, I'm of committing. killing 18. I mean, of killing 12. Okay. Yeah, my, my moves are simple, too. Just committing. We will make him regret having your... Or stealing your color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Get him! Don't steal my well, color, I'm, son! Well, I'm actually going to be hitting the other guy. So, that doesn't really make sense. But anyway... <laughs> Yeah. One step at a time. Eventually, he's he's gonna get what's coming to him. But yeah, we'll see what happens when he advances. Indeed.